Jeff Carnes, I'm a uro urologic oncologist at Mayo Clinic. Bladder cancer is the fifth leading uh, cancer in the United States, um, aff affecting both men and women. It typically presents with uh, uh, symptoms of uh, lower urinary tract symptoms uh, that include uh, problems urinating um, and frequently has blood in the urine, whether blood that you can see in the urine or blood under the microscope. The, uh, the diagnosis is established by a procedure called a cystoscopy, which is very similar to a colonoscopy, but doesn't require typically any sort of sedation. Uh, and it's an office procedure uh, with a flexible scope that allows entry into the bladder and the urologist can make the diagnosis of a bladder cancer, usually by uh, visual inspection. However, it usually requires a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis of a bladder cancer. But that's not it with the diagnosis because the, the steps in treatment involve knowing the stage of the uh, bladder cancer as well as the grade, which requires the biopsy. And how I explain the stage to the patients is it involves the root system and how, what depth has it gone into the bladder. That usually takes a few days to get the results back. And the next uh, treatment uh, regimen is dependent on that stage of, uh, of, of the bladder cancer. Uh, typical, uh, typically in the United States, um, we have what's called a non-invasive uh, bladder cancer, which hasn't taken up roots into the bladder wall, which usually involves uh, frequent surveillance checks, that's frequent cystoscopies and collection of the urine um, to look for abnormal cells, as well as um, in unique uh, situations of a higher grade or more frequent tumors, it involves placing chemicals into the bladder and what we call intravesical therapy. More rare is um, a bladder tumor that presents with already roots into the bladder that involves complete removal of the bladder. And at that period of time, we either create a new bladder out of intestine or we make a conduit out of intestine uh, to allow, allow the urine to divert uh, that, that way. There are risk factors for bladder cancer, some that you can change and some that you can't change. Things that you can't change are race. Um, and r the um, Caucasian uh, men have a little bit of a lower incidence than African American men. In addition to uh, sex, men, um, it's almost three to one uh, uh, higher incidence of bladder cancer over women. Things you can change, and it's important to try to change them once a diagnosis of bladder cancer has been established is to stop smoking. Smoking remains the leading cause of bladder cancer around the world. When one has a diagnosis of bladder cancer made, in addition to having the cystoscopy, they should also have a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis to look for any spread and to look at the local stage of the bladder as well as any surrounding lymph nodes. Uh, this is especially important when one has a diagnosis of an invasive uh, bladder cancer.